Click subscribe to get latest news and don't forget to press the bell icon. The relationship between the United States and Russia is teetering towards destruction due to the Democrats. Themes go out of their way to spew propaganda about Trump and Russia with zero evidence to back it up. President Trump recently signed off on new sanctions against Russia Wednesday, and as you can probably imagine, the Russians were not pleased. The Russian Prime Minister Dmitry Medvedev verbally attacked the sanctions as provoking a trade war of sorts, according to Reuters. That sure doesn't sound like the kind of talk you would expect from someone that supposedly worked with Trump to overthrow the election. CNN clarified that the bill was passed by 98-2 vote in the Senate and a 419-3 vote in the House. In other words, the decision was so concrete that not even a presidential veto could stop it. Russia was not the only name on the sanction chopping block, North Korea and Iran also had new sanctions put against them. They all have their own reasons, but it seems clear that Russia is simply being punished because the teams are so convinced that they hacked the election, whatever that means that they deserve to be punished. Vladimir Putin retaliated when he got news of the new sanctions. The Russian leader responded by sending 755 U.S. diplomats back home and also taking two American properties in Moscow that were designated for diplomats, according to The Hill. Let's not forget that Obama went out of his way to take two Russian mansions from the United States last year. Putin without a doubt had this on his mind when he took back the two diplomat homes in Moscow. Medvedev expressed his disdain for the sanctions through a Facebook post. He stated that, first, it ends hope for improving our relations with the new U.S. administration. Second, it is a declaration of a full-fledged economic war on Russia. The Russian Prime Minister went on to say, the Trump administration has shown its total weakness by handing over executive power to Congress in the most humiliating way. In all honesty, President Trump has done everything he could do up until this point to try and remedy the situation. Americans are starting to wake up to the fake news put out by the mainstream media. Most sane, rational Americans agree that the whole Russia-Trump story is nonsense. Outlets have gone out of their way to expose the lies, with great success. The never Trumpers are going to keep on fighting against the president, even if he offers to do everything they want and more. The left is just looking for reasons to complain, that is all there is to it. Right now, the media has sensationalized the hatred of President Trump. In their efforts, they have alienated a majority of their audience, and their ratings are reflecting their decision to ignore journalism and focus on business. It is going to take time and a lot of work, but we can make things right again. We have to start right here in the United States. The Democrats need a reality check, and President Trump is just the man to deliver.